Hey, how's it going guys? Andras Marty bringing you today another video. By popular request, we're gonna do a salon bot mini chat messenger marketing video. One of our subscribers asked for it because the other week we did one for the dental offices. You can check out that video right here. And we did one about frequently asked questions and how you can automate some of those questions people usually ask or when they message a Facebook page and how we can get an automatic response uh, as soon as possible to them to answer any frequently asked questions. You know, people tend to ask uh, businesses on Facebook. So today I'm gonna give you a demo over the salon bot, some questions or some inquiries, some information people look for and how we can give them a, a really quick response and also make it very interactive and fun for the potential customer doing business with the given business, which is really cool. With that being said, no time wasted. Let's dive right into this video. As you can see right here, we have mini chat open and I have Tangerine Salon. So it's Tangerine Salon, it's a salon from Dallas. Actually, my family goes there quite often. So I decided to make a demo bot for them. So this is cool. So go ahead and walk in through this demo bot. It says, welcome to Tangerine Salon. This is a super cool salon bot. My name is Sophia, the messenger assistant. So I'm gonna show you the demo right away, but here's mini chat software I use to create messenger bots, which is cool. There's obviously other software out there, but I definitely like mini chat. They're one of the first movers in the market and it just works really well. As you can see, I'm on a free account. This is free. You can definitely set it up for your page or for your business and it works great. So let's go ahead and show you a demo of how this works. As you see here, I'm gonna pretend this was Tangerine Salon's actual business Facebook page. So their business Facebook page would appear right here, but this is my page. I'm doing a preview example here. So this is what a new customer message the Facebook page would get. It's gonna say, welcome to Tangerine Salon. And like I said, this is a really cool start, pretty much informing people of this is an actual boss so they know this is not an, a real live person, but it works really well. Uh, we have great success and people really like it. And here are some questions or some buttons, better yet said, about different things they can click on to get information that they need right away. And also right here, we're saying, you know, thanks so much for coming by our Facebook page. There are links above and below to help you. If you have, don't get what you need, type away. So usually if I'm gonna message a page as a customer, let's let's put myself in the customer's shoes. I wanna do business with Tangerine Solo, or at least I'm inquiring to potentially do business with them. I have a couple options I can do. I could make an appointment, which is probably the number one thing I message the page for, or second, meet the team. I wanna see what staff there is. You know, sometimes as a customer, I know myself, I definitely enjoy a good haircut. I definitely appreciate someone who knows, you know, what they're doing, maybe a little bit more experience. So when you have a meet the team option, we can kind of show them who's beginner, who's, you know, more advanced, who's been doing this longer, and you can choose uh, which one or who you wanna go with. So definitely meet the team from skill set level. You can see who's there and see who you want to have an appointment with, which is really cool. Also our locations button there. If you have a multiple location business, or in this case a salon, which they do, or we're gonna get to it, I'm gonna show you. It's definitely uh, nice to know what locations are available. That way I can choose the location that's nearest to me and makes it convenient. So we're gonna show that here to the potential customer or myself, I'm putting myself in the customer's shoes and as well as our services are in our work. You know, pretty self-explanatory different services they offer and our work, you know, maybe befores and afters of customers, as well as maybe different treatments they offer and some of like the actual work, right? It's a picture of the actual work I can see and I can uh, maybe inquire about that service, right? Putting myself in that customer's shoes. So with that said, let me go ahead and click some of the buttons and show you some of the different options, some of the things we can do with Messenger marketing and mini chat in this example, which is really, really cool. So going on the first option, make an appointment. There's two things you can do right here if you wanna create one for yourself. You can either, one, when you click make an appointment, it's on this case right here, it's gonna automatically initiate a phone call, or two, you can have it give more options which I'm going to get to in this video. So you can see some of the other options we can do and how, you can, how a potential customer can interact with this given Facebook page. And the reason I'm initiating a phone call to step into a little bit of the psychology of marketing. I just, I don't want this just to be a demo, but also a marketing psychology, psychology and, and how I came upon some of these options and think of myself as a consumer, as a marketer. So I want to initiate a phone call and make an appointment because if someone wants to make an appointment right away, chances are uh, customers or people who do business with salons, with uh, you know beauty salons and everything like that, uh, chances are they want to speak to a person on, on the phone, but maybe they just hit send message because they're browsing different pages on Google or Facebook and ended up messaging this particular Facebook page given business, but they just want to kind of see what's going on, right? Maybe now they want to make an appointment, uh, nine times out of 10 they do. 
So they click make an appointment, can initiate that phone call, and that way the you know the admin of the front desk can go ahead and, and take care of them in this scenario. You can also, like I said, have it give some more options, but this is not always necessary. Just on the on the first message, we want to be able to give them the opportunity to initiate a phone call because they're maybe on mobile and want to make it easy for them to access their our phone number. Meet our team. This is another one. You can either have it either initiate a website open, like open a, up a direct URL. That way they can go meet the team. If it's a large business, if they have a lot of staff, you know, it's very, it, it, we, can't, we can't show them, you know, all the staff on a Facebook Messenger bot, but we can definitely guide them to the right website. We can show it to them. I'm gonna give you an example here. When we open up, meet the team, it's gonna open up their website. It's gonna show them all the staff that's on there. So let's go ahead and let it load up. Give it a couple seconds and yeah there we go so here's tangerine salon like i said it's a multiple location business they probably have dozens of employees and everything like that so as we're scrolling down and yes yeah, exactly what's happening right you have the master level all the different all the different staff there in this business and then you see you keep scrolling right this big staff you have senior level etc right you you get the picture here so i'm gonna go back to the messenger and meet the team also, when I click our location, let's say that's another option I want to click. This is really cool. You can have a little slideshow within within the within the messenger option, and we can show them all the locations, the potential customer that that where they can go to. Like I said, if I'm putting yourself in the customer's shoes, I want to see what location is closest to me, maybe which one I like best, what appeals to me aesthetically best, and we can go ahead and go that. Uh, we can definitely do a slideshow for meet our team and you can have me go back to this page you know let's say let's say you have four staff members you can have you know christina allison katie madeline you know, come on up there different you can, they can slide through and see who they want to make an appointment which which that's really cool in this scenario i think about the size of the business we can't definitely not have all the staff on uh, on a messenger icon slideshow you it just wouldn't be possible we can definitely do this here uh, for all locations because the multiple location makes sense if you're one location four staff definitely do the slideshow for your staff in just that one location just have that one option of location where you're at right no slideshow of course so give you a different example and let's say i want to go to the next step is let's say i do want to make an appointment click here it's going to initiate the phone call uh, more information we can just send them to the website i'm uh, just giving some more information and uh, general information and shall i reach out to someone let's say yeah maybe i do want to talk to someone but not a, not on the make an appointment but i definitely want to keep talking to someone on the messenger okay great a beautiful girl right here show a picture just to kind of grab some attention and now the messenger bot is going to ask me as a customer a question do you prefer phone call or text message sometimes people prefer text messages than phone calls uh, you can you know schedule someone on a phone call i mean on a on a text message that is that works great that way you can maybe they're busy they're in um, you know their work or somewhere and definitely they'd rather text the admin um, as a business owner if you're listening to this uh, definitely have the front desk be available for text messages we've seen great in increase uh, in conversions and new appointments set uh, by saying a text message if you don't have multiple points for the customer to potentially inquire with you um, then you're a missed opportunity to probably go message some other Facebook page or something you just want to give them options you know think about it and a way to reach out to you so let's say I go ahead and put my phone number let's go put a random phone number well this can't be more random than 555 so let's go ahead and see what happens okay text below is notification okay well I needed to put you know for a phone call or text message right here but I put the number and so the, these this option this option is just coming out as because i hit the preview i'm in a previous mode right now but if it was a real scenario these wouldn't come out so this notification will actually notify you as the let's say as the business owner's page the salon's page that someone's one inquiring but what i didn't mention here let's, let's take one step back and put a little bit of psychology behind this as soon as i hit this yes i love that i automatically can set mini chat to send the admin of the front desk a text message or an email or both saying that hey Andres is messaging the page right now uh, and go ahead and log into the Facebook go ahead and open up you know the business's um, messenger box so from right here to right here is probably about 30 seconds and that's enough time to open up the window and as soon as I said just notify one of our team members we'll be in touch that way whoever is handling the Facebook message go ahead and just type away right there with any questions uh, they might have and answer any questions right away. So that's the psychology behind it. So this is it's gonna be a very uh, important video that I'm shooting right here, not just a demo, but also put yourself in a customer scenario, psychology, actual applicable knowledge that you can you know, take into account whenever this plays. So let's go ahead and do a scenario number two of let's say I'm a customer interacting with your Facebook page.
on this next scenario, let's say I didn't click meet our team, our location, management. maybe I do know where Tangerine Salon is, but I just wanna know right away what are the services. So I go ahead and click our services. It's gonna start coming out with, you know, what are you looking for? As you see on the message here, okay, great. I see you're looking for our services, select which one you like more details about. So now we're here giving the option of, you know, hair services, spa service, whatever services you offer. And whenever I do click either hair service or spa services, I can have another slideshow come out offering the different services. Let's, I know for women, you know, it's like Brazilian blowouts. Maybe they just, um, hair straight. I'm not too familiar what the services are, uh, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. We can slideshow all the different services as well as the spa services, or let's say maybe I want to ask a question. I uh, necessarily not, I don't really don't know what I'm looking for, but I want to ask a team member. So now they're going to get this message. This is, like I said, this is continue being a demo and notify one of our team members. So now definitely that person got notified. And here we're going to make it a little bit of fun. As you see right here, you may ask your question below. We'll get back to you before you can say that's a very long word. So that's actually a real word and you can Google it. And it's actually a real word. Put it in there just to make it fun, make it creative, just make it different, right? Have a little giggle and keep them interactive and keep them engaged. So, which is cool. And then the team member can go ahead and get back in there and answer any questions. And that way they can have a real person answer. So coming back to mini chat, back on the dashboard. So part three of this is I want to show you the flow builder of mini chat. That way you get an idea of how it looks like you can use a basic builder flow builder. So right here, as you saw, are all the different options or different um, like boxes that we use to create. As you can see, here's all the slideshow. Uh, you can set all these up to do different things. And here when we hit, yes, I love that. It took them to this scenario right here. As you see right here, it notified the admins, messenger and email. And you can all set that all up. You know, this is not a tutorial on mini chat. It's just kind of give you an overall perspective. Definitely mini chat has some great videos. If you want to learn how to use the software itself, definitely check out their website in that. With that being said, that pretty much wraps up the demo and about mini chat for the salon bots.